Hi, this is Greg with Calendar Snack. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to actually start scratch here on my iPhone. You can see I'm dumping into Zoom. On Zoom, I'm going to go get my meeting information. And you can follow along with me on the iPhone here. I'm copying my meeting information to my clipboard. I'm going to Google Calendar. I'm picking out basically today as demo day. Um, it's not an all day. I put two to three. Let me move that maybe more like five to six. You see that I've changed it here. I just tap out of it over here. And I'm going to add the note about my Zoom information. I'm going to paste that in there. There's all my good Zoom stuff. Now, normally, uh, what good protocol is, is to actually highlight this area here. Hopefully, you can see it on my iPhone. And I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put that in the location so it's easier for somebody to hyperclick in the calendar itself. So there it is right there. I'm going to say done. And you can see that here in the location, I have the Zoom address. I have the Zoom meeting full address information here in the note area. I've determined it is going to be today, which is May 22nd, 2020. Time is 6 to 7 here on the 22nd, Friday. Now, what's critical are a couple things here. It's always good etiquette to put in the subject. This one's going to be how to RSVP. I've done hundreds of these, but um, I'm just starting this series over as a daily dojo thing. So let me put number six for this week. This one is uh, Zoom. And Zoom webinar I'll put in here. Now, under Ad Guess, it's critical that you use our email address, which is create at calendar snack. Calendarsnack.com. So thanks for hanging in there with me on this demo. I know uh, probably not too fast here on the small keyboard, but there you go at the top. Create at calendarsnack.com. And you'll see that I'm done. I hit done. And you can see I have a fully executable calendar snack ready to rock and roll. I'm going to take the uh, Google conferencing out of that since we're using Zoom. So a quick review. At the top, subject, the event is Greg's calendar. How do I know that? Well, under my identity, you'll see that um, it is checked as events greg at techvader.com. You can see I have many different identities. Just wanted to clarify that this is the area here on Google Calendar that, that uh, confirms the organizer. So in this case here, Greg at TechVader is going, going to receive the calendar snack. So it's kind of kind of important if you're using um, somebody else's calendar or you have several different identities, just note that when you get to your calendar, you want to confirm who, who you are. It seems kind of funny, right? But people are running multiple identities and multiple calendar clients. So we've had other people come to us uh, asking where the calendar invitation is and uh, or the calendar snack, excuse me, and Sometimes uh, it's easy to get mixed up here on the calendar. So that said, six to seven, it's it's not an all-day event. There's the location, which is Zoom, and then details about Zoom. Now, when I hit save, it's going to send me the calendar snack. So it's as simple as that, right? I hit save. That basically processes the calendar snack to the organizer's address. So all worked here in a live demo. You can see my messy calendar. I'm going back to Gmail. And under Gmail, you can see that this is me, greg at techvader.com. Put that away. You can see my calendar snack just showed up. Into calendar snack, I uh, got lots of good information here. Got uh, help videos, documentations, terms of use. You can see that I can just hit this hyperlink here. That's going to open up the calendar snack. Now to review quickly, you can go to event details. And under event details, you can see that I we have scraped your Google K 
calendar invitation into a calendar snack, and it's already rock and roll. Now I can do several things with this. Example, at the top, as I run left and right across the top bar, you can see that this is interactive and the calendar snack changes with various panels of information. So uh, the first click is invite forms. So landing pages, which I'm gonna come back to. I'm gonna get through this. The second uh, tab, or third tab, excuse me, here at the top, uh, we have email marketing for RSVP buttons. The fourth tab is um, we have something that allows you to send out quick fire invites. You can actually just put invitations here and uh, send out calendar invites, or you can actually send to a list. Um, the current bulk list is not up and running. Um, we have a different way of kind of deploying that. So you'll see that there's nothing on there, but that's part of our core technology. And you'll see that a bit later here in a few weeks. If you go to um, this button here, the report button, which is one, two, three, four, five, and left to right, this button here is report engine. And in the report engine, we send some really nice details out to you. Um, the critical part is uh, where did they come from, the calendar invites. So you can see in our technology that we're running multiple different calendar ch channels for this one event. And we're tracking the single event across all these channels if you uh, obviously have to use those channels. Um, that's a little quick there. And then uh, information here about uh, calendar snack. So let me get back to the meat of it, which is this here, landing pages. So I'm gonna pick out a landing page. I can pop one open. I'm just gonna pick this one. And I'm gonna type in an alternative identity. Let's pick out Tom at techvader.com. And Tom is going to receive a calendar invitation. So let's just pretend you've taken this hyperlink that's specific to your event and your event ID. You send it out to some friends or put it on your website. And now Tom is taking on the demo persona here to send himself a calendar invitation. That's essentially it. So there's all the good, rich details. It is a landing page. You can use it however you want. In this case here, Tom's going to send himself a calendar invitation. So there it is. We have a nice little swirl landing page says, yo, you sent a calendar invitation to yourself. You want to go see it, check your email address. So in this case here, I'm in the identity of Greg. I'm going to Tom. Here's Tom. Here's Tom's inbox confirmed by Tom at techvader.com. Here's Tom's invitation. And you can see it's all set up and ready to rock and roll. And if Tom says yes, this is on his calendar. Okay. So that's kind of critical. That's the core and meat of our technology. We're actually communicating to the calendars on your behalf, or think of us as a proxy for calendar invitations on your behalf to anybody. Now, the coolest feature um, I personally think of this tech stack is I'll go back to Greg. Greg's calendar snack is right here. I'll take a quick peek and you can see already I sent out one invitation. How is that invitation set out? Well, let me go to my channels. Oh, let me see. Look, the landing page. I had somebody use the landing page. That's pretty cool. We track that the landing page is working for you. And even better yet, under invitee detail under reporting, I'm scrolling over and I see that Tom has accepted this invitation. So we're communicating with Tom. Now, the features on our technology are going to include delete, edit, change, and update. And essentially, we're going to allow you to use your original calendar on your calendar, or basically your calendar event on your calendar at Google or Outlook to use it in a normal way you would use any calendar and then be able to update these invitations once they get out in the wild to your end users. Pretty cool. We're working on it right now. You'll see more on that. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for putting up with my demo. I'll talk to you tomorrow.